Hi, it's Jessie from Peach Manifesto, and welcome to my St. Patrick's Day nails video. So I am starting off with these heart glitters and just a layer of clear gel. And I do tap my little dotting tool into clear gel so I can pick up the hearts a little bit easier. So something special about this video, it is a collab with Liquid Chrome Nails. And of course, I'm using her hand, the Liquid Chrome Nails hand, uh, in this video, in the collab. So so uh, make sure to watch her St. Patrick's Day video as well. I'll show you a little sneak peek at the end of my video of what her nails are going to look like. So as you can see, I'm just using these hearts that I got for Valentine's Day um, just to make little four-leaf clovers. You could even do like three-leaf clovers, but I'm really partial to four-leaf clovers. And I'm using the green and then there's like a mint green kind of color. And they're beautiful holographic um, hearts. I just used the small and the medium size. I thought that the bigger ones would just be a little bit more work to encapsulate. And I'm just using OPI Gleam On and just kind of going in around the edges. And I did kind of vary like the thickness and like how much I sheared it out on different parts of the nail just to give it a little bit of depth and dimension with this sparkle because it's very subtle very very subtle green and i'm going in with wink from luxio and i do two coats on this nail um it's a really really pretty green and i just thought that this would kind of tie together some like the lighter greens i was hoping to go with and then i do encapsulate my glitters my little clovers um just with a nice layer of trinity which is like uh a bond or like a base a build and a top coat um, so it makes it really nice it's very self-leveling so it's really easy to see if there's any kind of lumps or bumps uh, from your glitters so I just really make sure to get those all covered up and then I do a matte top coat over top of the green and the reason why I did it in this order is because I am doing something messy on the other nail and I just didn't want to get that on there so I'm going in with two coats of polar uh, which is a really bright white it almost has a bit of a like a bluer base to it just to make it so bright um and really, if you're super careful, you could do it in one coat, but um, I knew what I was going to see some white afterwards, so I did two coats just in case. I'm using this um, green shimmery powder that I got from AliExpress forever ago <laughs> um, and some uh, titanium gel paint titanium white gel paint and again I'm going in with that kind of like heart motif sorry my hair is in this shot um the one day I let my hair down and it's like in the video so again I'm doing my technique where I do my two little dots and I make them into little hearts and what I'm doing here is making a four leaf clover like I said, you can do a three, but I am partial to the four. And uh, I'm going to go kind of all down the nail with these, um, even on the side of the nail. Um, I really thought, okay, I'm going to like fill this up, but it, it was taking a really long time. So I decided to put some stems on it instead you'll see um, this first one I did kind of a little bit slower so you can kind of see I even out I try and even them out and make it so they're not so lumpy and then this is the one I did offside and then the other clovers are kind of just coming down the nail and then I just kind of do like a little swirly stem just to kind of fill up some space and a couple little dots and then I wipe up off the rest of the chrome powder and it is hard to see on camera but in person it is a lot more noticeable there is this like lovely shimmery green that kind of um halos it um the little clovers and then i'm going on with the gleam on again a little bit of a thicker coat but still sheer and then i go on with a layer of stick it and just a green foil and i just kind of tap that on uh, i didn't want it full coverage at all in fact i had too much on and i went and scraped a little bit off with a dotting tool just to give me more open space on the nail and then i do a matte top coat over top of the little clovers um, just because i thought it would look really cool and 
it does. I really like the way it turned out. And then the thumb, I'm going in with uh, Luxia Wink again, two coats of that. And uh, then I take that same pigment I used for the clovers and I kind of use it like a fade. So I really concentrate it up on the cuticle. And because it's such a long nail, I went a little bit further down and then I just really brush it down um, just to give it that nice faded look. And then I top coat it all. And I just love the way this looks once it's top coated, that shimmer really like pops once you get the top coat on there. And then with this foil nail, um, I have top coated it. Um, and then I go in and put my gems on there. I really only had like the one size of the dark green. So to give it some variance, I did different sizes of clear just to kind of give it a little bit of variety. And I really like the way it turned out. I like doing kind of like these s type patterns and i will just kind of push them around until i like them that's one reason why i really like doing um, rhinestones with gel um, because it gives you lots of time to kind of figure out what you're doing i don't have the confidence to do it in glue honestly <laughs> this is what they all turned out like i'm really really happy with this it looks so pretty um let me know if you would give it a try and um yeah I don't know if I would try it on myself this long but I would definitely do a shorter set on myself um but I love 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 the way it looks with like matte and glossy and glitter and foil and pigment and different textures and yeah I'm I'm really in love with this set and you should definitely check out liquid chrome nails um on her youtube channel I'm going to link that down below and the products that I used in this are going to be link down below as well and here's a little close-up you can see those clovers better with the little green around it oh I just think it's so cute and she did such a cute little Care Bear set check her out and we will see you in the next video bye bye